Well, good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Seth Kovar in for Lee and Katia. The Del Mar Board of Regents has approved the budget for the first phase of construction for the new Southside campus. Now, the original estimate was $87 million. The budget approved today was for $107 million. Chris Six News reporter Ashley Portillo was there when they voted. Ashley, the Board of Regents admitted to some sticker shock. Seth, the budget passed on an 8-1 to one vote. That no vote came from Ed Bennett, who had some concerns and questions about the higher $20 million cost. Help me clear up some confusion. We thought we had an $87.5 million cost. What happens? What happened, according to the project's architects, is that the Board of Regents misread the labor market. The architect said there's a shortage of workers because they're already working on other large-scale projects like the Exxon plant near Portland. And that led to another question from Bennett. May it be better off if we simply wait until the market cools down? But the Board of Regents decided they shouldn't wait to build the new Southside campus, even though the higher $107 million price tag caught several of them by surprise. I am somewhat disappointed. I mean, it feels like we were just off on the estimate which happens. But architects were able to save money and cut costs by making minor changes to the project, like taking away an overlook from the library and a glass bridge walkway. Board of Regents President Carol Scott says in the long run, eliminating those from the plan still presents big opportunities for students in that area when the project is completed. That would be a prime location uh, and an opportunity for, to, for us to grow uh, with our students and grow with the community. The board also approved putting $10 million toward furniture and fixtures for the new Southside campus. That money being taken out of the college's plant fund, and Carol Scott described that as sort of a savings account. Seth? All right, thank you very much, Ashley. Well, keep in mind the $107 million approved today is only phase one of the project. There are two more phases. The money for those would once again come from a bond that voters approved. Construction on this part of the project expected to begin in the spring. It's expected to be finished in 2022.